hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to see a hybrid fault diagnosis method where we are, we are going to combine the neural network with a very powerful um, tree based algorithm called random forest and we'll see if this combination will will be able to give us an enhanced performance or in terms of accuracy for the data set that we have been looking at so the, this algorithm is going to be a combination of uh, ANN and random forest. So first, in the first stage, we'll train a neural network or an ANN, artificial neural network, on the data set that we, ha we are given to. So for the data set, we have uh, input feature X and a target label, which is the fault Y. We train that on our neural network, completely train it. After that, we take the trained neural network and chop off the classification layer. Then we pass it, we, then we again pass the entire input through this neural network to get the embedding layer XEMB, which is the embedded X layer from the trained neural network. And then use this embedding in a random forest, again in a supervised way to predict the targeted Y label. And uh, this is going to be the entire, uh, this is going to be the entire uh, schematic of this algorithm. So we have already seen by using a neural network, we get around 90% accuracy. Now we are combining our neural network along with random forest. And let's see if we are going to get any more accuracy or not. So here is the Jupyter notebook where we are going to implement the hybrid neural network plus uh, random forest method. First, we are uh, importing the necessary libraries, then the fault-free and faulty data, concatenating the fault-free and faulty data. Then we are scaling our entire data set using the data, using the mean and standard deviation of only the fault-free data. Next, I'm taking first 50 simulation run from 1 to 50 for, for the training case, because if I take all the training, all the data, then it becomes very computationally expensive for my system. So I'm only taking uh, 50 sample runs for all different type of fault, but I'm excluding fault number 3, 9, and 15 for the reasons I have mentioned earlier. Then I'm scaling, I'm standardizing my input data and uh, Y is my corresponding fault label. But uh, I need to convert it to a one hot encoded vector for a neural network training. So I'm doing that using this encoder on and then I'm encoding this and keeping the one hot encoded variables in y e and c after that i am doing my training and test split then our first goal is to train a simple neural network so we have the input here there are two hidden layer and finally the classification layer we are completely training this uh, model which is only 17000 parameters and yeah it goes on training and uh, after the training we have uh, like 94 percent accuracy just on the uh, let's say ju just on the training set after that uh, we are getting the intermediate model where we are chopping up the classification layer so finally our model has uh, total three layers first is the input then 100 neurons 100 neurons and the final classification layer has been uh, dropped after that, I'm initializing my random forest classifier and my input to the random forest classifier will be the prediction of this intermediate model. So this 100, this uh, 100 dimensional vector will be my input. And I am only taking, I'm down sampling this X train by uh, 10th times because there are a lot of uh, data and my random forest takes a lot of time to train. And I'm, because uh, random forest can take uh, directly the class labels i am inverse transforming the one hot encoded y train vector that's it all right and then i'm training my i'm fitting my random forest method after that now it's time to test my random forest method for that i'm using the same intermediate model and uh, i'm getting the embedding for the test data in x test rf and uh, the corresponding label of Y test in Y test RF. This is my true label for the test data, and this is my predicted label from the uh, random forest algorithm. All right. 
so now we'll see the decision the uh, confusion matrix obtained from this hybrid method so we see that now we are getting a very high accuracy on the zero class which was not in the previous case and for most of the cases we see there is very high accuracy and the overall accuracy is 93 percent then we'll see the real time prediction where the color or the hue represents how confident the network is yeah we can see that for various fault fault 3 was not in our data set yeah so mm -hmm. i'll just quickly scroll through and we can see the most of them are well classified next i'm obtaining a single accuracy matrix for this hybrid method and i i was able to get for the neural net plus random forest method 93 percent accuracy which is pretty cool and the conclusion is using the hybrid method we did get an extra accuracy so that was it about this video i hope you get to learn something new and see you soon in the next video